Hello, good friends, it's the Twykeen, and thanks for joining me for the long-awaited return of DK64, as it's time to head in this barrel for some very good reason. It involves, first of all, selecting this con, Lanky. <laughs> and why do we need Lanky? Well, he's one of those three conks that definitely needs to go back over here because he's never been here before. <laughs> but... I think in order to use him first, I gotta use another Kong who is capable of getting obstacles off of pads. And Chunky would have to be the only one to do that. Now he can help Lanky do what he feel like he needs to do. And I just barely landed in that barrel, <laughs> thanks to a weird camera angle. Now if only the beavers weren't around that much. And what does playing the trombone on here do? Another banana. <laughs> I don't know why it takes uh, playing an instrument to find a banana. I mean, it's like it really could have been found anywhere around DK Island. <laughs> I mean, just by searching for it on foot rather than just um, calling out for it. <laughs> Anyways, time to see some of what Lanky has to do in this world. So yeah, this recording session is going to be pretty much just all about the backtracking for the conks that have never gotten bananas in this world. That would include the three of them that I I just released after this world. <laughs> Lanky should have, yep, yeah, there's his grape switch right here. <laughs> what does he get? A bonus stage. And what do we like about bonus stages? That they have ridiculous music and that they are really fun. Welcome to bonus Mad stage. Maze Mall. Destroy all the baddies, then head for the checkered flag. And yeah, listen to this music. <laughs> I think there's only two instances in this entire game you'll ever get to hear this, this song. I think. That's all I know. But at least the enemies they put in this version of Mad Maze Mall are just a piece of cake. I think there might be, uh, yeah. Just look around everywhere you can. Oh shoot, I hope I didn't put myself in a bad position to attack him badly. <laughs> but, I guess that wasn't too bad. Well done indeed. And let's see how long he can stay in the air before he grabs that banana. <laughs> so yeah, 15 more bananas to collect here. <laughs> um, as far as blueprint collecting here, I will actually turn in all their blueprints when I get to Angry Aztec. I'm not going to do it here. Doesn't matter where and when you turn in those blueprints. They'll still count towards your banana toll because they're still a blueprint. That's pretty much the sweet thing about them. Um, trying to think what's another good banana Lanky has. Well, I guess he could s start off by collecting more of these, if I can swim slow enough to get this first one. That's better. <laughs> yeah, banana metal collecting in here is still very important as well, even though we don't have to use trough and scoff. <laughs> Let me see. I guess he could go this way. Because I know he's got a couple bananas over here. Does he have something over here? I can't remember if he does. Oh, he's got a few bananas right here, but Chunky's got a few balloons right here. Those will come in handy later. As well as that, um... Rock blocking the switch for Chunky. That's gonna be awesome to see. Oh, here's a banana fairy that Lanky can take advantage of. I would rather use Tiny, but who cares? Doesn't matter what con I use for it. If I can get the control stick in right, did not get it. Come on. That's better. So that brings me up to three banana fairies collected. 
since it increased my crystal coconut counter by one. Um, I don't know what else Lincoln can do other than this, but at least... Oh! Wow, he got himself in quite a pickle right there. <laughs> but otherwise, he's okay. Oh, really? That's better. I hate it when, uh, ammo misses like that. I hope this isn't the, uh, AK it is. <laughs> I was hoping to go the other way around. <laughs> And come to, back to this later. Stage. Speedy Swing Sorty. Bounce up into the trees and collect all the coins. Yeah, the way I said the is kind of weird. If I can jump up, right? Yeah, a lot of this just involves pressing A when the vine is all the way up forward. I think there's another version of this game later on where you have a, a lot less time to do it. <laughs> but at least it give, gives you a good head start on what it's like. <laughs> and Kasplut actually returned. But he has no blueprint to his name, because his hair is all white. <laughs> and what do we like to do with enemies with white hair? Beat him up again. Not completely, but just give him a little punch. And who doesn't like a little punch on any enemy? Really, who doesn't? Does Linky actually have bananas on top of these trees? Be great if he did, because I'm kind of lacking a few. Oh, really, Beaver? And the camera kind of just turned backwards on me like that. <laughs> I'm like, I wasn't even prepared for that. But, who cares, it's still good enough. Alright, he's got another balloon here before I hit that switch. There. So he's got that near that cannon. And he's got 60 seconds to get it, that should be plenty of time. Whoa! Be big beaver! You must like to chomp on <laughs> creatures like Lanky, don't ya? That's just my take on it. At least the uh, four pad really speeds things up like that. <laughs> they probably only give you that much time because they're assuming you haven't hit that pad. <laughs> But if there was like a game code to shorten the time because you did hit that pad, I would much appreciate that. Okay. Say, still not quite done with Link yet. Um, does he have bananas up here? I think he should. Now I'm talking about regular ones. I know where his last golden banana is before he turns in his blueprint. I just only have to get at least 75 bananas, so I'd be satisfied with just only that much and not a hundred. And he injures himself like that. That's just lovely. Really, that is. Yeah, I can't make him jump high right there. Oh, I think I need to use Diddy to get that open, yeah. I gotta get Diddy out. Forgot about that. So, here goes a little backtracking. Already going into backtracking anyway, but it's like, now it's the backtracking got a lot more extended because Diddy forgot to do this for Lanky. And then I gotta head back to that barrel just to get it back in. Which is kinda stupid, but... Games just like to mess around with you like that. Oh, is that gonna still get a hit? No. That's better. Alright, the long trek back to the barrel. <laughs> Whatever. If you're wondering why I was uh, 
Make you Diddy crouch right there. I tried to execute his long jump, but the A button just didn't seem to work. I wouldn't say the N64 controller is old or anything like that. It just somehow did not work. Yeah, let's give every card five more coins. All right. And he got his banana medal. Don't those pegs look a little loose to you? I'm not sure what pegs you're talking about, but I'll go ahead and take care of that. Let's just see how many bananas he can end up with. Ooh, yeah. And he is gonna end up with a hundred bananas. And we got some zeners. But easiest way to get them is this. Perfect for speed running. Yeah, I probably did it a very cheap way, but if you want to be like uh, somebody who completes the game really fast, that's the best way to do it. And the next banana fairy. If I could aim at it properly, quit moving around like this. Come on. Will you please stop? Oh, almost got you there. Got plenty of film. I just... Can't seem to find a good spot to stop her. Come on, stop. There. Puts me up to four banana fairies already. Well, now that Lakey's got his banana, <laughs> it's time to see what the next con has to offer. Like Tiny. <laughs> yeah, I might as well use Tiny. <laughs> Since her bananas are in this one area that Lanky doesn't even had to access. But that'll be taken care of just a little bit later. Let's go ahead and move on with Tiny over here. Because she did have some switch over here too. Like where Lanky had his. Uh, no more coins there. <laughs> or no more bananas, I should say. <laughs> Still managed to get him when Lanky was, or no, Tiny was in her final stages of this move. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'll get those bananas when I get done. Welcome to bonus Splish day. Splash Salvage. Collect all those coins, but watch out for the starfish. There's no penalty for getting hit by the starfish, they just make you lose a little bit of time. And yeah, the swimming out here is extremely finicky. Especially when you're trying to stay below, <laughs> right on the floor. And then, uh, try to get coins here and stay at odd level with the metal <laughs> thing right here. And it looked like there was a coin in the middle too. I don't know how I missed that earlier. Ooh. Was there one right here? Yeah. Okay. Oh, slow down, Tiny. There we go. Yeah, when it comes to swimming, it's not always the best, but not much you can say about it. And we're up to 60 bananas already. That's, <laughs> I was about to say that's extremely impressive, but this beaver just crashed my party on it. Gosh dang it. Well, time to see what other bananas Tiny has. I think that would also include this way. Where the old Cranky is at. <laughs> and who doesn't like Cranky? He's just probably a much better character to use in, um, what's it called, uh, Donkey Cog Country Tropical Freeze, yeah. 
which is a game I've just started to get into, and it's not as bad, but <laughs> I just feel like it has a lot more humor to it than um, Returns <laughs> for the Wii. <laughs> but otherwise, it's still really fun to use with Cranky. <laughs> I've seen him actually be a much faster character to use. <laughs> 30 seconds to get that one banana. Uh, yeah, I can still use the 4 pad. I was thinking right <laughs> for a second. Uh, I just always wish there was a way to just get it without having to um, land in the water, but you got no other option, essentially. Alright. And her next banana, which I assume is back here. I think there was one in that cavern that I missed, but I'll figure it out later. Yeah, here's our next blueprint. <laughs> and that coin noise for the second coin I grabbed came extremely late. That was really, really weird. Alright. Oh, really? And there's the five pad. <laughs> it's like, where was that all along? <laughs> I mean, we activated it in that one area. But now it finally gets activated right there. And yeah, the music you hear for this particular area of Jungle Japes is <laughs> right at the beginning of the level two. But of course it's interrupted. Uh, why can't I go down that? It's kind of like um, in golf when you swing the ball, or not swing the ball, just put it into the hole and it somehow swims back out. And did I say swims back out? Why would it swim back out? I think it would roll out. And I'm going back to being a midget again because Tiny's got something very important to collect in here. May not seem that important to some of you, but it really is. And if I didn't do it at least once, then I wouldn't get that other item I'd be 100%ing this game for. And plenty of crystal coconuts, but they just drain really fast. They really do. Well, let's go ahead and see what's beyond here. Yeah, right here. A lot more bananas. If I didn't get to all 30 of those, I wouldn't be having a banana medal. <laughs> or at least not collecting any one of those at least twice, I wouldn't have a banana medal. <laughs> and time to go in here, which looks like a gigantic beehive too. <laughs> 